these arcs guns and uh, I'm out here in the woods and I hear some shit, man. I'm here reviewing the SAS Bull Armory too, but there's something out of the woods. Oh shit! What is going on guys? It is Arx Guns and today I have a cool one for you. But before we get into it, man, I'd like to ask you guys to please hit the like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year and I do need your guys' help to do that. Um, also, I'd like to say happy Halloween to everybody out there. Um, I hope everybody has a great time, you and your families and kids. Um, should be an amazing day. Um, but to say no more of that, man, I introduce to you the Bowl Armory SAS 2 Ultralight. And I am absolutely impressed. Absolutely impressed. Uh, yeah, there's. I'm so impressed by this thing, man. It was definitely worth getting. Um, to get into this review, we are going to break this down into three separate subjects. Um, and within those subjects, there's a couple of sub-subjects, but for the first one, it's going to be ergonomics and features. Um, the second one is going to be performance, speed, accuracy, reliability, and recoil control. Um, and for the last one, it's going to be pretty much my conclusion to shooting experience and a little comparison to the C2 right there. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into this review. For ergonomics and features of the SAS 2 Ultralight, um, I like to start it off with features, man, and we'll just break down from top to bottom. Um, but ultimately, man, you're getting a really nice front fiber sight, which was very bright off in the range. I have absolutely no problems with it. Um, you're getting some really nice deep serrations on these. And I mean, they are nice deep serrations. They really work well. You can easily grip the front or the back to, when you kind of press tracks or anything like that. Um, these do come optic ready. Uh, the optic do come with this. It's actually going to be for the RMS, uh, RMS CC, that smaller one. Um, so what I did was I modified this plate and I removed the rear lugs and I brought down the front ones just a little bit so the hollow second one can work in. I'm going to refinish it with this black anti-corrosive one, right? all this kind of stuff, let it sit out, dude. Put the optic right on there and boom, zero problems. Um, it was an absolute dream. Um, dude, the co-witness on this is actually pretty freaking good. Let's see if I can get that in there. It is really good. There's about that. There it is. You guys can see that. But man, absolutely fantastic. Um, this is coming, obviously, you guys know, with that uh, fluted barrel, which is so dope. And um, on the other video, I have like a little uh, where I take the barrel out and I shoot it. But dude, it almost looks like like the freaking thing of a rifle just absolutely amazing dude this barrel is so sick and serrations even go on the outside right there it is absolutely absolutely dope with this thing right here man um but uh the mac the uh slight release on this thing is actually pretty good uh, as well i had a little bit of getting used to when i was out in the range when i was doing really close and i was trying to release the slide i was getting a little used because it's smaller so i'm like my hand was like falling over here um, on my hands so it was like a little bit forward and had to go a little bit back and that's where it is but it is nice it sticks out a bit. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but there it is. It literally bulges out and sticks out really well. Um, it is very easy to hit. You just got to get a little used to it. And um, it does now come with uh, ambi safeties for both sides right here. Um, so I know like the first generations did not have ambi, but these new ones do. Um, full uh, full light Picatinny rail on there, man, for the TLR 7A sub. I haven't tried any other light, but this one, I'm pretty sure this is the only one that's going to fit. Because I did have to use the Universal 4, which is the most maxed out one to get it to pretty much fit on there just like that. Um, dude, this trigger is phenomenal. And I don't know, I'm not exactly sure how light this trigger is, to be honest. Dude, but it's got to be like two and a half, three pounds. It, it feels very, very light, man. But the trigger is, check this out right here. I'm going to put my hand in the back so you guys can focus on that. So this is the wall right here. And then instant, boom. Let's check out the reset. That's it, and it's back to wall. Dude, it's dope. This thing's trigger, this trigger, this trigger is definitely feels better than the Staccato PNC2 in regards to just feel um, how it's uh, not entirely flat, but like slightly curved, which is nicer, like to the finger to me, um, the lightness of it. It reminds me similar to the XE, but the XE is definitely, I think a little bit lighter, I believe, but very similar. Like it reminded me to the, <laughs> how light the XC trigger is, but even with the light trigger, man, that's why you do have this um, palm safety and that's why you have the manual safety up here as well too. So you have lots of ways of mitigating a light trigger like that. Um, but the trigger was phenomenal, man. 
Um, I, I also like the mag release on here too. It's very easy to grip even when you're fully gripped with your gun like you're ready to fire. Even fully gripped, I can feel, I can get that mag release, no problem. So reloads were absolutely easy. And um, the beaver tail over here, man, was uh, was really interesting. Um, you know, I have to I have to mention that when I am, so I've been carrying around, I've been carrying this uh, for a couple of days um, with the LAS holster that I use for my Staccato C2. It's like TLR 7A pretty much friendly, so it'll go right there with the LAS holster and clicks right in. So it's perfect. It absolutely works perfect. And I, one of my concerns that I was going to be having when I was going to range before I went there was that I thought that when I was gonna, so it sits in your pants like this, right? It sits in your pants in there like this, and the belt's passing right through there. Well, I thought that um, I might have an issue when I'm lifting up my shirt and coming in grip, that the grip, since obviously this is a shorter grip with 16 round mag, when I was gonna come in to grab, I thought that I was, it was just gonna be a little tight in there to grab this mag, to grab this uh, uh, gun and pull it out. You know, when it's sitting in your pants and you're seeing the length and play that you have when you're grabbing this, you think it might be a little of a small man, but I have to report and say that it was actually no problem. I had no issues coming in, grabbing the holster, taking it right out, dude, and taking some shots. Uh, carrying this around in this LAS holster with the uh, with the foam uh, teardrop is very comfortable. Um, obviously, the holster is longer than the gun itself, so um, but in regards to like thickness and all that, it felt similar to the C2. And since I'm running it in this holster, I mean, it felt it felt the same to me. Um, and I find the C2 uh, comfortable to carry. And I'm a bigger guy and I have no problem carrying the C2. And this was definitely easier. Now, one thing I will say about uh, carrying this uh, that I did not like was that uh, when you have the uh, when you have the gun ready to roll like this and you have the safety up and you're ready to go, the uh, beaver tail and the hammer right there, dude, when it gets in your skin, yeah, it gets in your skin and it's poking you and it's, and it's getting in there. Um, and that is the one thing that I noticed that my staccato does not do. Of course, when I'm bending down and coming in, sometimes it'll dig in. Um, but this one, man, I think because it's so small and subtle, I'm not quite sure, but this was digging into me for sure, just a bit there. Um, nothing outrageous and nothing crazy. And with some slight adjustments, I was able to like maneuver it, but I noticed that that was digging in me. Um, so that'll be a thing that, uh, you know, just keep a lookout for. But it was very minor. I, that is not a deal breaker right there uh, for me at all whatsoever. Um, like I said, minor adjustments and you're good to go. Um, but dude, this thing was absolutely amazing. Um, I absolutely love how this gun performs in every way. I like how the hammer of this thing looks. I do like the fact that it's like the small hammer, the small beaver tail. It is, um, it's pretty amazing, man. And I do have some more reporting to do on this uh, thing right here. Got a little slight bite there. But um, yeah, absolutely amazing, man. This gun um, with the size of there, the 16 round magazines, which comes with two of them, um, the, and, and the grip, like I said, I was concerned because it's so small, but dude, you can, this is me, this is me fully grabbing it, like if I'm gonna go take off on it, right? So this is fully gripped, and I do have like a medium, large size hand, and man, I can get my whole hand on there. And when you go through the shooting, and when you go, when you watch the shooting, you'll notice I'm fully gripped on there, it's no problem. And I thought it might be a little bit of issue gripping, and maybe a finger, finger low or something, just because the grip's so small. But man, nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all. Um, absolutely phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with uh, how this feels for ergonomics and the, and this is literally feature rich. So yeah, absolutely amazing. So here for performance, we're gonna get into the first one, which is going to be speed. And man, um, it is fast, yeah. It is, it's actually really fast and it's really accurate, man. I, it was absolutely awesome. I shouldn't have said accurate the whole thing for that, but it is accurate and it is fast. Um, man, this light, you know, this, the spring in here that to get the slide to go back, you know, the slide is very light and the spring is not exactly too heavy. Too, so moving this back like that is very easy. So between how lightweight that is and that spring rate and that light trigger, dude, this thing flies. Um, like I said, I know when I had the Staccato, um, I was comparing this and I was saying that this was the Nissan Skyline and, and the Porsche Carrera 911 GTT. Dude, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to say this is right here gonna be like the, uh, the Toyota Supra um, in there now, man, because dude, it is quick, quick, quick. I should probably spit the small car. Let's say S2000 Twin Turbo or S2000 Turbo. There we go. That sounds nice. Or small, fucking fast, um, just badass. 
So for accuracy and reliability, and you guys heard it, this gun is absolutely uh, accurate. It is equally as accurate as my uh, Staccato C2. This bull barrel absolutely performed out there on the range. Man, it is, uh, it is a very impressive gun. Um, I had absolutely no failures. I did fire 350 rounds exactly out of this gun right here. I had absolutely not one failure of any kind. No stove pipes, no failure to feed, no um, failure to lock back, nothing. It was literally flawless. And uh, I was a little concerned a little bit there for a second because uh, I, I got like two comments in between there, man, that, uh, in regards to um, some people having uh, issues with like a generation one. And, and things like that and um, man I don't know what gen this is and I'm not sure like what year or if it's a gen 2 it has to be the gen 2 for sure because I know that the older ones have the slightly longer grip um, but dude I have zero issues with this it is it is a very 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 impressive gun um, I was out there dude I, I set up like two targets and I was shooting like right left right left right left and uh, I don't have a lot of target transitioning options in my in my range where I'm at you know so I work with what I got so I bought much smaller targets which <laughs> was tough to hit man because I was setting them out there at like 12 and 15 yards and something like 10 yards and this is a much smaller gun so I really wanted to see how good I was going to do with this one dude and my god it was amazing um, I set the two targets up like out there. I believe it was 12 yards and it was one of the left and one of the right as far as I can of the thing. And I was just tagging them, boom, 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 boom. And um, it was easy. It was easy like the C2, I have to say. Um, it is an absolutely amazing gun. This is very accurate and this is very reliable. So for recoil control on the uh, SAS2 Ultralight, I have to report that I was absolutely blown away. Um, the recoil on this, dude, it is very, very light. And you have to keep in mind, guys, that this is, um, of course, it's not going to be like the same weight as like a 43X or a, P3, a P365X cell or anything like that. It's probably going to be a little bit heavier, I'm thinking. Um, but even though this is the ultralight model with the 16 rounds and everything, the way that I have it set up, dude, it was phenomenal. The recoil was so low. Comparing something like this to like a 365 or a 43X, um, just because of like the slide length, you know, being so short. My freaking God, this blew me away. I, I genuinely thought that there was gonna be more recoil to this gun when I was shooting it. Oh, this does not have much recoil at all wow very very impressed very impressed badass and it was very 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 impressive i cannot believe how little the recoil like the felt recoil was um it is something i i can't say it's like similar to my staccato c2 exactly to, to the t but it is similar in regards to um probably how you're going to be able to perform with it um, I will say though the Staccato C2 was significantly softer. Um, it, like the felt recoil up was very light, um, but like it had that kick to it. And this like flip up is less, and the kick is far less. I will say on that idea. Yeah. That added weight and everything for the Staccato C2 is, is really good. And um, I can hit some far shots and some really good shots with the uh, bull armory. I was I was hitting shots out there. I'm just quicker with the C2 still, but my God, dude, this thing really impressed me. Um, if that new Staccato CS is gonna be anything like this, fuck, I'm gonna have to get my hands on that motherfucker because it is dope. It is an absolutely impressive gun. Um, Staccato and Bull, my God, are they tearing it up. You know, they, they, they're very competitive with the price. You know, this gun's only $1,500 and this is like $2,400. The CS is $2,500, so there's that price gap in there, dude, but Bull is uh, feature rich, dude, and I know some of these parts are like MIM. And, um, but they're like, they're MIM parts that have been fitted for this gun. Really? So, dude, they just performed, bro. They're obviously picking out right parts and they're fitting it just right. And uh, when you're shooting it and you're feeling that recoil and how amazing and small and accurate it is, um, it impresses anybody. This thing is absolutely insane. Highly recommended. You see one, jump on it. Fucking hard to find too. But um, that'll be everything for accuracy and reliability. I meant fucking recoil control. <laughs>
for my conclusion on the Bull Armory SAS 2 man, it is an absolutely impressive gun, guys. This thing um, definitely blew me away out there at the range. Um, I just, I couldn't believe how light it is when I'm carrying it around. That was the first thing, that it's incredibly light. Um, that is that is the one thing I'll notice. In regards to like how it felt on me, it felt the same on my C2, to be honest with you. And even when I carry my 43X, and it is a little smaller, man, but when it's like on me, stuck to me, like feel-wise, the 43X C2, you know, if you, if you have the right holster, it's not much. It's not much because the holster is what does all the work and my holster is really nice, so I have no problem with it. So felt was full no problem, but the weight is the one thing that I did notice. And um, it was very light and it was very easy to carry because of that. Um, the only thing, like I said, was there was a little bit of poking from the uh, from the hammer and the beaver tail. Um, but outside of that little poking on me right there, it was nothing you wear an undershirt. You'll never freaking feel it the entire day. Um, and that was one of the first things that impressed me. They're just carrying this around, man. Um, the second thing that impressed me was the second I fired the first shot and then the second one. Because you know, the first one I was surprised me a little bit. When I fired that second shot, dude. I was like, what the fuck? This thing's got no recoil, dude. And I, and I was boom, boom, boom. And it just started feeling like my C2, you know? And um, I felt confident right off the bat. I felt like if something was far away and I had to take a shot, that I can make it with this gun right here. And, uh, you know, it's very, confidence is very important for when you pick a firearm for you. When you have a gun that you can shoot well out there, it makes you feel good and comfortable shooting and confident and bring it up and you can find your sights and you can take your shots. Um, that's really important, man. And this gun definitely gives you that kind of thing. And um, it was very, very, very impressive, man. The shooting experience that you have with this gun is uh, no less than what you will experience with your Staccato C2. Um, and if, and I'm sure that the larger model, the uh, 4.25 model of this is gonna be something very similar to the P. Um, man, I would love to get my hands on one of their tech comps now so I can compare it to the XC. Let me be you, XC's king. <laughs> Always, <laughs> that thing is so bad. But this right here, boy, is like a little prince hanging around in the back trying to be king. But C2 is uh, C2 is next in line. <laughs> oh, darkness, my old friend. But um, dude, it is an absolutely amazing gun. The um, it's just everything about it was great. I, I have no complaints. I believe that this, what they're offering with you, um, with all of these features and this much performance at this size for the price of like $1,500, it is incredibly hard to beat it, to be totally frank with you. I do not know of any other 2011 that can beat this at this price, this good, period. And this is easily up there in line with the, with the Staccato C2 for sure. Yes, this is it's the Staccato C2 uh, better fitted and um, pretty much better fitted, like more time was spent on in fitting it um, compared to this one and then everything is all hand, all handcrafted and all that kind of stuff, no mint parts on the Staccato C2. Yes, um, but dude, they figured out how to get great materials for this and they hand fitted everything as well, the parts that they needed to do. And it's, it's, it's a great gun, it's a great gun. It's really hard to, uh, it's really hard to decline how amazing this gun is, man. It is very impressive. I definitely want to get my hands on another bull um, again, like I'm saying, dude, if that Staccato SC is anything like this, that shit's going to be worth it. It's going to be really, really nice. Um, is it going to be like worth, if you already have a Staccato C2, is it be worth it over that? I don't know. I'm not too sure of that, to be totally honest with you, because outside of the lightweight, um, which is the, one of the biggest things, you know, when I'm carrying it around and it feels on me, um, this is going to be like the same size of that. So this is, uh, it's, it's still got good little size to it, you know what I mean? It's nothing too outrageous when it's the kind of C2 when you're carrying it around. Not to me at all whatsoever, and I've been literally cycling both of these around on a regular. They're literally, they're, they are the ones in my rotation. And um, I, I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing for the size, um, but will it replace your C2? Um, that'll be tough to say. You're gonna really, you're gonna have to really, really want that um, because your C2 is just, uh, it's really nice. But this right here, fuck, man. Um, you won't regret it, guys. This is an absolutely amazing firearm. And uh, I, I'm now impressed by Bull Armory. Uh, I'm a big fan now. And, um, and I, I hope I get an opportunity to shoot some more of these. Um, just very happy with them. Um, but that'll be everything for the review right there, man. I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you guys have a great Halloween. Stay safe out there. Let them kids get them candies. Get them big candies out. And yeah, man, everybody stay safe.